What's up everyone? Today is gonna be a different type of video. Today I want to spread knowledge your way and places that you can find that knowledge about filmmaking. And these are places that I have learned filmmaking throughout my short career and that I continue to go to to learn different things. So these are my top five YouTube channels to learn filmmaking on top of this channel. This one is obviously separate because you're here now, so thank you for being here. These are my other top five. Top five, top five, top five, 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 top five. What is wrong with me? Seriously, what is, why do you guys watch me? <laughs> At number one, nearest and dearest to my heart is Film Riot. Film Riot has probably taught me the most as a filmmaker. I have watched them for about nine years and watched them grow and I've learned a lot of what I know through them. They cover all aspects of film, from pre-production to post-production. They show you how to achieve a lot using an indie budget, whether it's DIY, they show you how-to videos on how to create certain effects, um, they teach you directing, they teach you cinematography, they teach you everything and they seem like genuine people and I've watched them grow from when they were pretty much just starting to who they are now. and. I am a huge fan of them and I think that they have a lot of knowledge to offer. And they are really there for the filmmakers that didn't go to film school and are on YouTube learning how to become a filmmaker. Which is the best way that I think to do it and these are the guys that taught me how to do it. So much props to Film Riot and I will always continue watching and learning from them. They have a whole bunch of videos on filmmaking that you can learn a lot from and they drop a video probably two times a week, once a week. So definitely consistent knowledge that you're getting. So check out Film Riot. Number two, Studio Binder. They talk about a lot of different things in their videos, such as directing, shot types, sound, anything that goes into making a film, they do cover. And they also use real movies as examples. A thing that I like that they do is that they cover um, certain director styles. So one video will be about Christopher Nolan and how he directs and makes a movie, or Steven Spielberg, David Fincher, a lot of different people. So it's really cool that they do that. On top of that, they have other videos that cover like composition and all the different shots that you can do and what they mean. Um, editing, sound, like I said, they cover a whole bunch. They take a very professional approach to their videos and there's a lot of information. So definitely check out Studio Binder. I'm still learning things from them today. Number three, Lessons from the Screenplay. I found Lessons from the Screenplay when they were a smaller channel, and now they've grown to be a pretty big channel, and this channel actually focuses more on story and the writing process. The videos on this channel take one film per video, and they kind of break down a certain aspect of the film that was done really well, and they look at how it was written and the writing process and how it worked for this movie. One thing I do like about this channel is that they play the film and then they have the script underneath it scrolling as the scene's going on. So you can see how it transitioned from script to screen, and you can see how it was written matching up with the actual film. This channel is really good for anyone that wants to write or just creating a story through film. It really teaches you about story and writing, so I recommend checking out Lessons from the Screenplay. Number four. The Closer Look. The Closer Look looks at movies that we know and love and breaks down story elements or characters and really dives into why it works so well in that movie. Like the Joker in The Dark Knight or why Hannibal Lecter was so creepy in Silence of the Lambs and tons of other movies that they dive into and see why a certain thing worked and that is how their videos go and they do a really good job of explaining to you why it worked and how they did it. So take a closer look at the closer look. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. Number five, Aperture. Aperture is actually a light company, and Aperture is actually one of the lights I own, and they're an amazing light company. But they also offer a YouTube channel, and this YouTube channel actually focuses on lighting. So this is kind of a different style of channel that I really haven't seen, so it's really kind of cool to see how you can light and film to tell a story. And they talk about shaping light, how to light different scenes, different styles of lighting, how one temperature of light could be different from another temperature of light. Um, they really show you how to tell story with light. And lighting is one of the most important parts, if not the most important when it comes to cinematography. And there's a lot you can do with lighting and there's a lot of ways to tell a story with lighting. So this is a different type of channel to learn filmmaking, but 
there aren't many channels like this, so I recommend this one because it is so different and you will learn one of the most important aspects of visual storytelling. So Aperture, check them out. And also check out their lights because they have such good lights. I love their lights. They're amazing. They are so good. This is, this is the one. This is the one I'm talking about. This is my baby. Um, um, Aperture 120D Mark II. Love it. Love it. Love you. And just because I love you guys, I'm gonna give you a bonus channel to look up and learn some awesome filmmaking stuff from. It's this one. No, I'm just kidding. The bonus one is actually called Cinecom.net. Yes, that is the name of the channel, Cinecom.net. And they are similar to like a film riot. There are a couple of dudes that are growing and just teaching all these different aspects of filmmaking. They show how to do um, certain effects, which I've learned some cool effects from them. Um, they show certain things about cinematography. So they kind of cover a lot of aspects of filmmaking, but I like to go to them for a lot of effects work because they do pretty well and they show a lot of um, simpler ways to pull off certain effects. So Cinecom.net is your bonus channel. So that's my top five, technically top six channels. And there's a lot of other channels out there, but I feel like this is a good origin to start with learning pretty much all the aspects of filmmaking. Check these channels out watch them every day, really take in what they're saying, and you will get better. These are the channels that have taught me over the years. Um, Film Riot was the first one, and then these kind of just started following throughout the years. So definitely check out these channels and explore new channels and see what you like, and then hopefully come back to this one so you can learn more film stuff from this one. But that is all the time I have for you today. So thank you for coming to this video. Thank you for checking out these five channels. I hope you don't get lost in these channels that you come back to this one too. I'd love for you to learn and get better at filmmaking with the help of myself and these channels. And you will. I believe in you. You will. So thank you for coming to this channel and thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you in the next video.